Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on logarithmic functions. In this video, we're going to discuss what this E is that you may have heard about. When we're talking about logs on your calculator, you have a button that says log. That button on your calculator that says log is base 10. And I have videos on how to calculate other bases. So if you're given a log base B of X, which is any other base, you have to do something special, sorry, base B, you have to do something special to be able to calculate that on your calculator. The third type of log and the second button on your calculator is LN. That is an LN for log natural. This is base E. E becomes an important number the further up you go in math. So first I want to talk about how to estimate E. I have it down here, what you get if you plug it into your calculator. But if we use the finance equation where you invest $1 at 100% one time a year, so 100% interest accrued once, you get $2. 100% is doubling. Um, if you do it 100 times, so for this one I'm going to calculate 1 plus 1 over 100 to the power of 100. If I throw that into my calculator, suddenly what I get my $1 at the end of the year becomes 2.704814. So $2.71. If I put in 100,000, 1 over 100,000, 23 to the 100,000, I get 2.718268. And if I were to put in 10 million, I'm not going to write it out, you get the idea. I get 2.7818281693. You see that we're very quickly, if you think of infinity, 100,000 is uh, 10 million is not that big in terms of an infinite number of numbers. We're very quickly diverging on to this number of E. There is one way to generate what E equals. All right. So let's. You know, this is just playing with a calculator and seeing if we understand how to plug this silly number into a calculator. So if we start off with putting 5e into your calculator, rounding to three decimal places, we should get 13.591. I suggest pausing and doing the other three before you see what the answers are, just to make sure you're plugging everything in correctly. e to the 8. Now e is between 2 and 3, so to the power of 8, it's going to be a pretty big number. So 2,980.958. Remember, a negative exponent means division, so this is really the equivalent of 1 over e to the 4.3. You can plug it into your calculator with a negative, but this is to give you the idea that this number is going to end up small, and it does. It becomes 0 0.014. Um, e cubed, well, 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27, so this should be somewhere between 8 and 27, a little bit closer to 27 because we're over halfway. And if we plug this into our calculator, we get 10.086, which is exactly what was predicted. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks!